it's important that we keep his dream alive, but the most important thing is that we get answers and we get justice for Devin. The parents of a young entrepreneur gunned down three weeks ago are pleading for information about who killed their son and why. Well, tonight the parents of a young St. Aug grad and entrepreneur are asking for our help. They want to find out who killed their son November 19th on his quiet street off of Ottoman Park. And they are hoping that someone has information that will help homicide detectives solve that case. Today they talked exclusively with Meg Ferris. Devin Espadrone's mom's den is filled with pictures, paintings, even a life-size cutout. But his parents' hearts are empty. I even hate talking about it because it hurts so bad. Oh, you know, I mean, I'm trying to, to release it, but it just, I can't release it at a time like this. It's, you know, it's, it's real hard. My son was just snatched away from me violently, and he was not a violent person. Just overnight, my life has is turned upside down. They are pleading for answers. Why would anyone want to shoot their son 12 times? If anyone know of anything, I don't care how little or insignificant it may seem, notify NOPD, notify uh, Crime Stoppers. They see in the news weekend after weekend, multiple shootings, deaths of young men. They worry our community is becoming complacent, accepting this violent behavior as normal. They worry police are overwhelmed with the number of families that also want answers. So I'm just hoping and praying that uh, the homicide department, that they, you know, have the manpower and they have the resources to do the best that they can do. And they worry for the other families left behind. I mean, my heart always did go out to families every time I heard the violence on the news, but even more so now because I'm in their shoes. They're in my shoes. You know, we, we want answers. As much as they want answers, they also know Devin was exceptional. At only 22, owning his own beverage company, Element. They're both working hard to keep his dream alive. His dad, David Espadrone, is making deliveries. He's amazed at his son's success. Yesterday, he sold 200 cases of Element drinks. Every time we go to the stores, all the people are like, you know, grieving and crying and saying how, you know, you have a real good kid. He was always smiling and always polite. They say their St. Aug Purple Knight will always be their king. I'm still trying to grasp that my son is not here. Meg Farris, Eyewitness News. The New Orleans police could only tell us today that the investigation remains open and active. They ask anyone with information to call the Homicide Unit or Crime Stoppers anonymously at 504-822-1111.